G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, it's been a while since I've done any reviews or mess around with Sterling engines. And today we're going to rectify that. And we're going to look at a little Sterling engine kit that uh, Banggood is selling. It's under $30 Australian. And it's uh, the QX6 mini hot air Sterling engine made by Star Power and so far this hasn't been reviewed on Banggood and being a kit I mean it makes it a lot more interesting than just buying one and firing it up and hopefully it runs if you can build it up yourself it gives you a good idea of how these things go together what the tolerances are, the clearances and if you wanted to you could even scale it up and make a bigger one yourself you know just you got all the measurements there so you can actually use it as a baseline for homemade ones even either way for the money it's got to be a good deal and you can have some fun along the way okay here's some screen grabs of what they're selling Now I haven't opened this up, so let's see how it goes. Hmm, okay. It's fairly small, that's my hand, so I'm not talking a really big kit. Instructions, got to have instructions. And looks like they're in Chinese and English. Hmm. I'll look at those in a minute. Then we've got all the bits in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. All sorts of stuff in there. That's the flywheel and looks like the cylinder for the power piston and the displacer. Oh, a little bottle of well that's to put your metho in the burner with. And then we've got the base. Mm. It's all pretty solid, it's quite quite weighty actually. So uh, next thing is to take it out of the bubble wrap. And see what it's all really like. Okay, so here's the main components three large. A whole lot of small. So now it's a matter of look at the the plans, instructions, and see how it all goes together, and what you have to do, and uh, hopefully get a running Sterling engine. Pretty cool. I like these sort of kits. These are these are lots of fun. Okay, moving on. So here's what it's going to look like when it's complete. Okay, so here's where here's where the action is. Numbered one, two, three, four, five, right through. So basically, you just put the components together and there's a whole picture and uh, 
identification of the various bits you should have and that you're going to need. So yeah, it's a matter of get on with it now and yeah, put this little baby together. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so I've matched up the bigger bits with the schematic or component listing. And in that little plastic box, we've got the wick and gaskets, O-rings, which is this stuff up here. Uh, some little allen headed bolts and according to this you get a key which you do they're in there so you don't need any tools of your own by the look of it and then there's the piston and pretty small ball races for the, the crank so hopefully it's all there I will open this up when I start doing the job because I don't want to open them now and risk losing stuff when you work on these sort of projects these kits you want to get some big dishes that you can put all the bits in keep them you know grouped as you're using them so sort them out as you go along and uh, for now I just hope everything's here but that first look you know it seems okay I've never had a kit that's been incomplete over the years I've done them they've always had all the bits and sometimes even a, a few extra bits but um, yeah okay well next thing is do it so we will we'll push on right now we're starting with number one it's interesting looking at the, um, the components it's all brass lined where it has to be and you know good quality Allen had bolts, even a little copper gasket on there. So all the componentry looks pretty damn good. And I've got the the two Allen head bolts we need to mount this, and I've got the the Allen key. So we'll put it together. Pretty straightforward. I mean, this is made in aluminium or die cast of some sort. It's uh, non-ferrous, non-magnetic. You could paint this before you put it together if you wanted to, but I'm just going to put it together as it is, see if it all goes okay. And if it does, well then it'd be a simple matter of just disassemble it and paint it if you wanted to. Not that it really matters, the actual finish is, you know, quite good okay now we're going to go into step two now some of these components have a very tiny look these teensy wincy little washer things here so that's why you almost put them into a old meat tray or something so you can just keep everything under control you don't want to lose any bits you know yeah it's pretty pretty tiny this so you have to be super careful Uh, that's the metho reservoir that's the filler hole there and also a vent so 
So that's the displacer. Now when you tighten these up, you do them up evenly and diagonally opposite. So you get a nice uniform pull up. It's like tightening the cylinder head on an engine. You just go diagonally opposite. And you pull them all down gradually. Don't go down rock hard on one. You wait till the very end when you've got all your seals compressed. Yeah, you can go across. Then just go around and nip them up. So there shouldn't be any touching that should slide up and down. The displacer should move up and down within its chamber freely without any binding or touching anywhere so that's perfect you rotate it and you can see everything lines up super good very good Right now, this is the only tricky part of the whole build. You've got to put a tiny little spacer washer, that one there, between the con rod and the flywheel, and on the other one as well. And then these little neoprene, bushy, rubbery, tubey things, they push on and they hold it all together. They hold the, the con rod onto the journal. I won't try and film it because it's pretty awkward but uh, that's the trickiest part of the whole build so far right as you can see a little tube bit on the end holding it all together and yeah it's tricky to get that on there but she's all good so now we do the other side Right, well she's all together and apart from those little uh, plasticky rings going on, it was all pretty straightforward and it spins over beautifully and uh, I haven't oiled it yet. So, theoretically it should go. So I'll oil it. And then we'll uh, see if we can fire it up. Right, well it's all oiled, including the power piston and the, the um, displacer rod. I've set it all up. 
clearances that they say. So now we'll put in a bit of methane. And we'll see as she goes. Now there were a few extra bits they gave you, extra seal for the um, the O-ring that was there and an extra um, cross pin, you know, uh, gudgeon pins and a couple of extra little grub screws just in case you sort of lost them but um, yeah, so you got everything you want really Alright, let's give this a go See what happens She's away <laughs> I was never in doubt, I thought this would go It's beautifully made. Pick it up with the speed. I used the lightest oil I had. And I oiled the ball races as well. How cool is that, eh? Pretty good. <laughs> That's a honey, isn't it? That's really good. I mean, it's really, really good. It's picking up speed now because it's, um, it's probably wearing in a little bit. And the flame's not quite as big as it was. It was a bit too big to begin with. I mean, it only holds a little bit of meth though, but it's been going for a while. That's awesome, isn't it? I mean, how they can make it for that price? It just runs so sweet. Well, there you have it. That took me about oh, two hours to put together, just going along steadily. And the only tricky part was those getting those little neoprene, what hacks is a sort of a circlet into place, you've got to, just got to use the thumbnail to do that and uh, yeah Well, there you have it, guys. A really great little unit, especially for the money. And it was interesting to put it together. A uh, bit of a bit of fun doing that. So there you go. If you want one, well, the link is in the video description. It's uh, the ideal gift for somebody. And uh, big boys or little boys, <laughs> it's going to be a great gift for someone or do it yourself. Okay, that's it for me. I'll see you next time. Cheers.